In this video, we're making a hood pack. So we're standing the hood. And I'm gonna put a custom skull design on here. I'm gonna carve out the drawing on here. And then side with the line. So then we're gonna put some filler in and see. And make it all smooth. Stand there, fire glass. So now that Johnny's doing the prep work on that hood, I figure that I'll get at making something, I don't know, a little bit more custom than what you see on the shelf type thing. I've always been a fan of a early 60s uh, hood scoop towel or, or whatever you call it. I've always liked that style. Um, but I want to do something a little bit more custom to it just to say that I made it. So what I did is my piece of foam is uh, 24, 24 by 30 uh, inches. So I just changed that ratio um, just so I could fit it on the piece of paper here. Uh, I went from inches to centimeters more or less. So I've, I've already marked out a spot where I am 24 centimeters by 30 centimeters. And it's the same ratio, it's just uh, I, I'm going to have to transfer this to another piece and but it should come out pretty good. Uh, then the ratio it doesn't matter. As long as I've got an even ratio and work inside those borders, it's all good. So there we go guys, uh, that's going to be my design, it's right there. That's what I came up with, uh, I actually got this idea from an old episode of uh, Monster Car Garage, and uh, they kind of mixed a boat and a car together, and they did this really neat thing with a foam towel, and I always thought, well, I can carve, maybe I should try something like that, so that's why I put the spell on. But you guys don't have to do that. If you don't have, you know, that that artist itch or, or you know, you maybe, maybe you have to get a friend to do it if you want something a little bit, you know, more custom or creative. Uh, but you can just do the the hood cow if you want. This, this is going to be uh, that type of process where it's just whatever you want, uh, whatever shape, whatever design. You can make it straight. If you're not artistic, you can always, you know, use rulers and measurements and, and stuff like that. You don't have to do something like this. You can make whatever you want. Uh, so the next thing that we're going to need is we are going to need some clear paper. Now I just got this. This is just a divider out of a, uh, a binder and uh, you know it just separates and then I just split it in half. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over top of it and I'm going to trace it and then I'm going to use uh, what we used to use uh, back when I was in school, which was a uh, overhead projector, and I'm going to cast that onto my foam, so I can get my outline and, and my picture. Now remember, I went 24 by 30 centimeters to ratio against my 24 by 30 inches. Uh, so as I, you know, kind of bringing it with an overhead projector you can make it bigger or smaller and it'll still fit within the lines that I drew out. So we're going to draw that out and then we'll cut that out and then we're going to start the process of putting it to the uh, hood and uh, then we've got to glue it on there then we've got to fiberglass it and then we've got to putty it and then we are doing a lot of sanding. 
Okay, so now we are going to transfer that drawing to this piece of styrofoam. Um, I was going to use a projector, but my ball blew. So I'm going to go back to just a, another easy way, which is just putting a grid on here. And until I get a ball, that's pretty much all I can do. But it is doable, and it, even if you don't have uh, an artist's hand, you can still do this, uh, and it's going to come out pretty good. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so now we have the uh, drawing in front of us. We're going to put our grid on here. So the other side. Okay, then we're just going to draw a line from both sides to both sides. Right over top of the drawing. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing, but with lines going that way. Okay, so now that I've got my grid on my picture, I'm going to transfer this grid to this one. So I went every four centimeters on the picture, so I'll go every four inches on the styrofoam. Okay, so now we're going to transfer. Um, so the way this works is uh, I'm using a small uh, see-through um, ruler here, my kid, uh, just so you guys can kind of see too. Now, if I look at this and I measure from that line over to the tip of that, the end of the cowl there, I look at it and I am half a centimeter. Okay, so I'm going to go half an inch off the same one Two, one, two, and then go half inch off the end of that. So I line it up. Grab my trusty marker, and I make a reference point there. I know it's the same on the other side. One, two, in. So I put it on the old half inch room. A reference point okay so now I go where does that end up okay so I'll measure from the edge of this line over to where it meets that part of the cow and I am oh I'd say that's the better part of 19 millimeters so just about two inches and the reason I'm saying just about two inches, take a sixteenth off. Actually, let's take an eight. Okay. So we're gonna go there. Same thing on this one. Like that. I'm gonna put that right there. Now it's really just connect the dots. Now the reason I say that, and really you could even just make a straight line. Because what we're doing is we're just getting a basic, basic outline. Like, very, very basic. Um, this has to be honed right down. You know, sanded down, cut down, all that kind of stuff. Now, that's how you'll do that. And then you do that for every outside line, right? This whole along here, along the bottom, along the teeth. Uh, if you're not doing, you know, a skull or anything like that, it, it really depends on you, what you want to do and what you're comfortable doing. Uh, you could just come across straight, make the cowl, just like a every ordinary type of cowl, uh, if that's what you want. It doesn't matter. It's, it's up to you. It's your vehicle, right? So you can do that. And you're going to do that for the whole thing. And uh, then you'll come out with just the outline. Um, just follow these lines, measure them to every point. And just get yourself a basic outline. And we'll go with that. Okay, so there's been a little bit of change of plans. Like I said, this isn't turned in stone. Um, how these kind of curve, I don't think I want them to actually curve. I think I want them to just come straight down. So I'm going to draw that into it. Um, just a change of plans. It happens all the time. You know, you might change your mind on what you want. Better to do it 
before you get it all cut out and stuff. So there you go, um, you have got um, your basic outline of it, which is that. Um, you'll notice that I stayed away from this inside edge. Um, this is going to get wrapped, or wrapped um, and formed, but inside this edge is all uh, Dremel work. I'm going to use a, a wood Dremel, it's what I use to carve with all my wood. So. I figure it should just go through this like nothing. It shouldn't take me any time at all. Uh, when you start carving with harder woods and stuff like that, it takes you a while, especially if you hit a notch or something like that uh, with the demo. So this should be some easy carving. So that's what uh, we're going to do next. 